Men of Reddit, what is the hardest thing to explain to a woman? Just because I don't have tears running down my face doesn't mean I'm not as sad as you. This hit me deep. Sometimes men seem so emotionally tuned out or have such a good poker face so I can't tell. Makes me sad to think all the times it looked as though someone didn't care that maybe they were really sad too. I'm not angry. I just don't have anything to say. Just wanna be left alone so I can deal with my shti without hurting you cause I'm in a bad mood. Why is it hard? And why is it not getting hard? Sean Connery is quoted as to saying to his female co-stars in love scenes. I'm sorry if I do. And I'm sorry if I don't. Double quote. I don't always want to be the one that initiates sex. It makes me feel like a creep. One of the fun ways I initiate sex with my boyfriend is by turning to him and saying hocus pocus. Let me stroke us. Works half the time. Why I don't know what the fck my best friend is up to in life even after hanging out with him all day. Me on the phone with my best friend for an hour. My wife. How's he doing? Me. Fine. My wife. I thought he was sick last month and got laid off from his old job. But I heard he was doing better and found a new job. Me. Yeah. So he's fine. Why I'm hard. No I'm not horny. I wasn't thinking of anything. I was reading about the fall of the Roman Empire okay. It just does that. Walfang. What did we say about your pillaging fetish? But come on. They literally worship a god nailed on a cross. And let decadence run free whilst being too coward to fight. They are basically asking for it. Double quote. Hint don't work. Just tell us what's up. I once said to a guy I really like you and he said thanks. 10 minutes later he looks over and goes. Wait you meant like like? Double quote. If we say we're doing nothing. Nothing is not a void to be filled. Nothing is the activity and we love it. Do you have anything going on this weekend? Double quote. I have nothing planned. Great. We should. Let me clarify. I plan to do nothing. Double quote. When I talk about my feelings I want to be heard. Understood and something to change. When we fight about my feelings it only makes me repress those feelings. Bro my mom does this to me all the time when I wanna complain about something or vent about my life. When I was your age I went through all the same stuff. Well if you had have done this instead that wouldn't have happened. It's like everything I think and feel is invalid because other people have been through it or I could have made other decisions. Sweet lady who loves me to death but I normally just end the conversation when she does this. How you can actually twitch your penis. All of my lady acquaintances are interested to learn that we have the ability to do so. It's essentially man kegels. Making the wee man dance right now. While in the office. It's called scratching your balls but it's much more of a pinch and twist motion. You're forgetting the stretch and rake. It is entirely possible to listen to everything you say. Understand it all and still forget it 5 minutes later especially when under pressure. Woman here insane. My emotions. It can't just be me who finds it so hard to express my feelings or emotions. We're not afraid of marriage. We're afraid of divorce. Similarly, I'm not afraid of getting into a relationship. I'm not even afraid of asking someone out and getting rejected. I am afraid of being in the relationship for a long time and getting invested and then getting dumped. Five years single since my first and last relationship went poorly. And it doesn't look like I'll be ready for another relationship anytime soon in the next few years. For me. My feelings. I find it extremely difficult to convey things going on in my head. That nothing is a perfectly legitimate answer to what are you thinking? And what are you doing? And what do you want to do on your day off? Dot. My girlfriend sits there and will loudly sigh. Grumble. And groan until I ask her what's wrong. Or what's on her mind. She responds with nothing. Yeah bullshit. You just made a bunch of noise to get me to ask. Now tell me. Your direct and clear hints are not so direct any of the time. 
And if you aren't my GF I'm not gonna do something that could be sexy or could be creepy. Could be jail time. Based on what could have been a hint. Which either ends up with them thinking I'm not into them. Thinking I'm stupid. Or thinking something else and maybe killing a change at a relationship labor that's better than scarring a girl if she didn't want me to lean in. Just because I'm interested in you. Doesn't mean I only want your body. The men only want thing bugs me. I think I want the most is love and affection unconditionally. Compromise is a two way street. If you want those pink pastel bedsheets and pink pastel walls. I'm getting the Star Wars lamp. I'd be fine with that compromise. Sounds more than fair to me. It's hard for me to express myself. IDKY. This is what is difficult for me and my boyfriend. Whenever I ask him what's wrong or what he's thinking. He always responds with nothing. But then he'll go and explode on me and finally start telling me things that should have been talked about years or months ago. It also really sucks when I keep telling him that it's okay to talk to me. That it's healthy to talk it out. That I want to know what he's thinking or feeling and he still doesn't do it. He's also the type to go and do his own thing to feel better and then come back like nothing's wrong. What do we women do when our guy is like this? What it's like peeing with a boner. Sorta like using a hose to water plants. Except the hose is not flexible. So you have to push it down. Except IT doesn't wanna go down. Erect penises don't bend very well. So it is real hard to aim properly. And peeing with a boner sitting down is hard too because, once again, it won't bend down properly. So it's pressing hard against the underside of the seat and sometimes pee goes through the crack between the rim and porcelain. 10 stroke 10 do not recommend. Edit. Can't believe that my first award is on a comment talking about boner peeing. Edit. OMG thanks for the gold. Stranger. What having sticky sweaty balls feels like but not being able to do anything about it. Why are you walking like that? Double quote. Because my balls are plastered to my leg. Double quote. The hardest thing I ever had to explain is that. If you act distant. I am going to try help resolve whatever is causing that. Telling me nothing is wrong and then starting a fight when I am trying to cuddle and sleep is the wrong time to try and resolve that conflict. Especially when it is something that shouldn't reflect our relationship. Just because I am good with kids doesn't make me a pedophile. We have to fix this negative perception in our society. I'm a woman and an elementary school teacher and I often wish my profession was more balanced in terms of gender. Varied role models are so important for kids. But a lot of men are, for good reason, often worried or discouraged by the idea of working with young kids. Because of the fear of being perceived this way. Even when they're really good at it and have a strong interest in teaching. It's awful. Open bracket. Something that has sadly been very relevant to me recently. When I tell you that I go for walks and drives to clear my head. That does not mean that I hate. Or despise you. I can't sit and watch TV mindlessly. I need to be engaged in something to kinda open up the channel for everything to flow through it again. However I am well aware of a sad reality where guys use this as means to go and cheat on their good ladies. Thankfully once people get to know me they know I am a big kai guy love walks and hikes. You can pop a boner without being aroused. You can get a boner even when you are nervous. You can get a boner while shopping for guns with your buddy. And it isn't weird unless you're touching each other. According to the alphabet of manliness anyways. Either a, that we two have feelings and need companionship or b, why I have a boner at a grandma's funeral. How I can spend the entire weekend fishing with my buddy and still not know that his wife died. We're not big talkers. The same way he can spend his entire weekend at peace and with his own thoughts about his dead wife without being asked about it every 5 minutes. Just being with your buddies helps. Not everything needs words. The pain and surprise of accidentally sitting on a testicle. You're going to be fine and you know it. However. For a split second that came into question. I'm 20 and never in my life have I ever sat on my balls. IDK maybe they're small. 
The lack of intimacy we tend to have and difficulty in expressing emotions asking for help. This is true and mostly caused by the fact we have been raised with the man up mentality being hammered into our very consciousness. That I just want to stay in and chill this weekend. After a stressful week at work. I am not mysterious or introspective or whatever because I stare blankly in the empty. I'm just staring at the empty. I as a woman had to stop staring blankly at the empty in public because it apparently looks like I'm about to cry when I do that and cause distress in people. I think I'd rather be considered mysterious but most definitely not with this baby face of mine. I can literally be sitting there and think about nothing. When she asks what I am thinking about. I say nothing. But she doesn't believe me. In a guy's brain there is a nothing box. On the flip side. If I say nothing. It usually means nothing important. At least nothing I want to spend 10 minutes explaining why I was thinking of it to provide context. This is because the follow up question is inevitably okay. Why were you thinking of that? Well. Dear. My thoughts are a continuous stream of consciousness rambling along by themselves with odd interjections of background noises. Old memories. Daydreams. Past nightmares. And who the fck knows what else. And they just happen to be interrupted by you when I was wondering why cats skin color patterns don't match their hair color patterns. We like affection and warmth and flattery sometimes too. Not just sex. No. The dress doesn't make you look fat. It's not the dress. It's not you. It's the hamburger. That my female friends are exactly that. Friends. And not threats. The easiest way to handle that with female friends is to have them over to the house for things and to make sure your female friends are friends of the marriage. Not just friends of you. Tip I got from a marriage counselor. When you catch her staring. Most of the time it's not a conscious choice to look there. Sometimes when you look around a room your eyes see what your eyes see. Women have much better peripheral vision than men. And our vision works better in a more focused way. This is why men get caught looking more often. HM. If we're talking, serious, then it's how difficult it is for guys to break out of the real men don't talk about feelings bubble. It's not a case of just talk to me many, most. Common of us are conditioned to bottle things up until it explodes and we break a bone doing something stupid. We can work on it. Deal with it. But it's a process and it's really difficult to even talk about because there's always a voice inside somewhere telling you that it makes you weak. Even with the self-awareness that you know it's bullshit. I am really hungry. Just pick a place. If you wanna know why I did something. Ask me. Instead of making up a reason in your head and then believing it. The societal pressure that comes with being a man to be the provider. To never show emotions and such things. The mental pressure that comes with such things is not talked about nearly enough. Also male depression is not given nearly enough attention as it should. I just don't know why. Talking to me while you're in another room and then getting mad that I haven't heard a word of what you were saying is profoundly annoying. How serious the kick to balls is. A lot of women do respect it but there are too many that treat it as a joke. And do it for fun when it reality if you fck up the guy is in serious pain. Leave sack tapping to us. We know how to do it right. Guys rarely get compliments or ladies making the first move. Thus we really appreciate it when a lady makes the effort to approach us. If I'm in a group. And I'm staring at you intently. I probably just spaced out and my eyes defaulted to your position FSR. Jesus. Getting caught staring at someone is the fking worst. I didn't even know you were there. Much less existed. Let me retreat back into the void and stop bugging me with object permanence. They will never understand the importance of saving every screw I remove in my house. That there is a goddamn war hero who could still be called up for active duty. Using rom-com movies as a standard of dating is the same as porn as a standard of intimacy. It's unreasonable. Unfair. And at worst unhealthy for your man. Okay where do we begin? 1. We are not always horny 2. 
we don't have the desire to always talk about our problems. Sometimes we just need to be alone with our thoughts 3. We don't understand everything so if you are being passive aggressive don't expect us to know what is going through our mind 4. Just because we're friendly with another woman it doesn't mean we're hitting on her 5. Just because women have problems it doesn't mean we have better lives. We men have issues that are equally as destructive. 6. We like being soft sometimes. We're not always tough or stand or fish. Slightly raising my voice during an argument isn't yelling. My actual yelling voice is a lot scarier. I a. A very big guy and since 13 or so have had to learn to keep my voice flat when upset or I sound like I am a second away from committing murder. If I say something without emotion, it's not because I'm upset with you it's because I'm thinking about that thing from a purely logical point of view. Don't allow my deeper voice masculine tone to affect my argument. If I'm not making sense or I am wrong. Tell me. I'm not your dad. Don't project fatherly rightness on me. Stand your ground. Queen of Sparta. That I just like to have conversations. That I don't have intentions when I go to engage in a conversation with you. I'm 26 and it seems like every girl I meet, at least I get the vibe. That they think I'm into them or trying to have sx with them and because of that it's hard to even have a real convo or become a friend. Whatever happened to becoming friends with people you think are cool why is everything centered around dating sex when it comes to talking to the opposite sx 99% of the time. When I get scared. I get angry. I have no idea why. I'm not talking about jump scares or dumb stuff like that. I mean kids running into traffic. Learning scary health stuff about the wife. My dog's approaching an unfriendly looking fellow pooch. Etc. My wife hates it and I always have to explain that I'm not angry at any of them. It's a general angry at the unfair world feeling and I can't direct it anywhere. For many of us. We were trained to suppress our emotions. We were taught that being stoic was the goal. A manly tear might be acceptable when your faithful pickup truck had to be hauled off to the junkyard. But that's about it. It's nice to see that the younger generation seems to be shedding some of this. So perhaps they won't be dead inside like all of us guys from Generation X.